the pandemic has slashed air travel demand and a return to business as usual is either several years off or unfeasible in any kind of time frame. So the way people move between cities is going to change in a big way. In Europe, intercity car use could increase if passengers do not feel safe on other modes of transport or if timetables are overly affected by quarantine measures. But if operators can maintain the level of service and hygiene precautions demanded by passengers, the coronavirus could indeed end up sparking a revolution of sorts for more sustainable options like trains. New research shows that travel on public transport carries a low risk of virus infection, so long as passengers wear masks and vehicles are well ventilated and regularly cleaned. Finally, cyclists have a right on, on trains in Europe. It will mean a boost because then it, it is much easier to, I mean, ride your bike to the station, bring your bike on the train and then ride your bike to, to wherever you want to go. That's what, for instance, is happening in Copenhagen. And there the commuter trains saw a huge increase in the number of passengers when they started introducing spaces for bikes on trains. And I think we will see the same thing for trains all over Europe. So the pandemic does not necessarily mean the death knell for sustainable long distance travel. Far from it. It just means operators are going to have to be smart and do right by their passengers when traveling between cities. If handled correctly, the shift could yield all sorts of benefits, ranging from better human health to a cleaner environment for all of us to enjoy.